So ace five suited, I think, is a pretty clear call against a three bet of that size. And on the right table, I check called the flop with a gut shot. You could make an argument for check raising, but I actually really don't like it on this board. Um, two reasons mainly. The first reason is that I think he's going to shut down a lot of his bluffs once I call an ace high board. Because uh, there's not a whole lot of like good turn cards to double barrel in these situations. Um, well, there's not a lot of obvious, like traditionally good turn cards. Like there's no over cards. Um, there's no there's no flush draw to come in. So on ace high rainbow, I expect him to double barrel pretty tight, uh, which makes me more willing to float, knowing that we, I won't be facing a turn bet very often. Um, the second thing is that if I check raise and get called, there's very few good barrel cards for me because it's hard for me to represent anything when there's like no reasonable draws that will come in. Uh, so those both of those things I think work in favor of floating. And I think it's too thin to value bet 10-8 um, here. So I just check and hope that he checks behind. The ace five of clubs, I really don't like doing anything other than calling on the first two streets. Uh, we're ahead of all of his bluffs, and like, yes, raising the flop is a reasonable play, but I think that by calling, we like allow ourselves to save money against his value range, because I don't think he's going to barrel it off uh, with a bluff, like pretty much ever. I think once we call twice, it just kind of looks like we have a king. Uh, not so much on this board run out, but it just looks like we have a full house or something. Um, so I don't think there's any reason to raise at the beginning of the hand, because that just like allows ourselves to get stacked by his value hands. And when we call twice, we just like, we bluff catch, we sort of force him to, um, by the river we force him to like, show whether or not he was value betting in some way. Because um, unless he bluffs it off, fairly often, we're just going to like make a correct fold whenever he uh, whenever he bets three streets, and when we improve, like now we get to stack his value hands um, without putting all the money in on the flop. <coughs> Jack-10 on the right, I think, is a very easy check behind. Uh, similar to the hand example I used in the presentation part of the series, where I just don't think we're going to get three streets, and we risk getting check raised um, off of a hand that has like that wants to get value on uh, against some weaker hands. <clears throat> it's also I didn't mention it during the hand, but like he did have a bluff in the the Ace Five hand. 